attack rabbit here. Oh, okay. Why am I shelving Fusion 360? Well, it's been quite a quite a scene with um, Fusion 6 360 and Autodesk on the last few weeks. But I mean, I'm, I say that really now it's a uh, getting to be a bit, of, a bit much. Anyway, I mean, you can't just go ahead and remove functionality that has always been free. Uh, that I don't think is really that nice to do. And especially if you go around and uh, you, first you remove it, and then there's a, there's a bit of a complaints about it, and then you actually suddenly reinstate the functionality that you removed. I mean, what kind of a policy is that? So that's like random add and random remove, and can happen at any time. And, and that's very disturbing to any kind of a stable work process. And also, I mean, the communication for Autodesk has been very blended. I mean, it, it's um, sometimes an like, arrogant attitude towards those that are using the free version. Like, oh, what are you complaining about? I mean, you've got a free version to use. I mean, we can do whatever we want with it. You're not important. So I, I think that's really bad. Also, they've been hinting that um, designs will become it hasn't happened yet, and no real information has come, but it's between the lines when it starts to read that they intend to start making the designs Fusion 360 specific uh, for the free version. So that means that you'll be locked into the Fusion 360 infrastructure if you want to be able to access your designs, and that's really not that good. I don't know if it will ever happen, but let's see. Uh, I, don't, I don't even like hints about that. Um, you know, they talk about, oh, you should use the subscription edition if, you, you know, that's the, you know, ultimate. if you don't really like the free version or have complaints about it, then you're, you know. But, I mean, if they intend to serve the maker market, uh, maker, like consumer or maker market, um, in terms of subscription fee, uh, in my opinion, 40 to 50 US dollars a month, it's way too much to pay. There's, there's no maker or... Not very many maker consumers that are going to actually pay that. I mean, if they would like to have that, I would say that they should, um, you know, they should come up with a subscription plan of like 10 to 15 US dollars a month. I mean, I could pay that happily, no problem. I mean, if, if they're going to start messing with the free version, then they could at least be honest and just like, um, you know, take it away completely or do a completely restructured base version and say that, okay, you can get this for 10 to 15 US dollars a month, take it or leave it. Well, that would be okay. Uh, and then, you know, when, um, you know, they, they, th they seem to be taking this, the people are using it as like, oh, it's just free, they're freeloading on us, you know, we, they should really start paying, you know. But that's really not true because, I mean, you know, creating content directly about Fusion 360, or using it to create a design for attribution and attributing it to Fusion 360, it's not free of cost. Um, you know, there are makers out there and creators out there that they have to learn three, Fusion 360 first. They have to develop an idea which is adapted to that environment and then also, uh, you know, produce a product based on that. Uh, they need to actually produce the content around the whole scenario of the product, Fusion 360 blend. Uh, they need to distribute it, YouTube video or other me other social media means. Uh, they need to market it. You know, they say, hey, we, I made a new video, it's you know covering Fusion 360 on a product I made. You know, take a look, do it. And um, that's all, it's all cost. You know, in time and, and sometimes even in money. Uh, and I mean, this community marketing, it comes basically at no little or no direct cost to Autodesk whatsoever. And I mean, I'd, I would argue that the, the makers and the, the creators out there, those that are pulling in millions of views, millions of subscribers, I mean, they probably sold more uh, Fusion 360 subscription than the Autodesk marketing team has ever been able to sell on its own. It's it's th that is just the fact that I think the one could probably research and show to be true. Um, 
you know, fact, fact of the matter is that there are um, other alternatives um, to Fusion 360. I mean, Fusion 360 used to be the only player on the market, basically on the market, but uh, you know, you, you can find reasonable commercial alternatives if they start wanting to be paid for it seriously, and and, um, and then there are free free versions. You know, the thing is that Fusion 360 isn't perfect. You know, there, there are instances where you can get it to crash, where it doesn't work, where designs get corrupted. You know, it's like any other CAD modeling software. It, it, it's not perfect. So, um, you know, if you if you ask creators to start paying a lot of money for it, then they will actually start digging more into it. Like, oh, well, it, it actually crashes in this state. Oh, this actually doesn't work. You know, then, then they'll actually start really considering about the value of Fusion 360 and, and, and is it really worth the money they're asking. I mean, I don't think that Autodesk is really fully appreciating the investment of the community has put into marketing this tool, I mean, for them. I mean, it, uh, and, I, and I hope that they, um, they like, don't mess this relationship up. Because, I mean, there's lots of other vendors out there that, that really would love to take the place of Fusion 360 in, in the terms of uh, its, its marketing positioning. You know, uh, so watch it a bit. You know, I don't think Autodesk should really take this situation for granted. Um, I mean, if you think it's uh, an idea, you could just follow me and shelf Fusion 360 f until the end of this year or into the next year and stop promoting it and showing stuff based on Fusion 360 for this time period and see how much they like that. Um, and I mean, we can always move to another platform if we're forced to do that. I mean, I've, I've, I've used um, FreeCAD and so, yeah, so it'll be my guess if we're gonna force the hand. But I hope they don't do it. I mean, I, I, I think Fusion 360 is quite a decent tool. I, I could be prepared to pay for it also up to a reasonable level. But I mean, I think what they're doing now is just a mess. They shouldn't do this. I mean, you, you should be clear in your communication. And, and, and okay, if you want to be paid for the product, then tell us. Yeah, we want to be paid for it. You know, take away the free version. Don't mess around with it. Anyway, uh, that was my input onto this. If you liked it, then um, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon for more content, and um, I'll see you in the next one.